Hi everyone, today for reading, you are going to need your ready reading book, okay? And you are turning to page 80. Okay, so go ahead and get those materials. Pause the video if you need to. You're on page 80. Okay. All right, once you are there, Okay, we are going to be reading this story called Grandma's Secret, but before we read that, I always like to look and see what the questions are asking me to do before I go and read the story. So if you look on page 81, it says, finish the chart by using the details from the text to find answers. Add a question of your own in the second row, which I added for you. So the first question is, who are the girls in the picture? We need to find the story details, which is text evidence, and then the answer to that question. The second one that I wrote in there for you is, why does Annie's grandmother share the picture? So we need to find the story details for that and the answer to that question. So go ahead and pause the video now and read Grandma's Secret and try to find those two answers and story details, and then we'll talk about them. So pause the video and read that. Okay, once you are done reading the story, let's talk about the answers to these questions. So it says, who are the girls in the picture? So if I'm reading the story, let's see, I'm looking through. Okay, so I see right here, they're talking about the picture, and then starting in paragraph five, it says, oh my gosh, Grandma, that's you. What are you doing? And she says, I'm singing on a TV show with my group, The Wildflowers. Okay, so the girls in the picture are with a, are the, our grandma's singing group, this grandma's singing group, so. Um, for the story details, let's put, oh my gosh, that you. Okay, so that is your story detail. And then I'm going to also put the detail in paragraph six where it says I'm singing on a TV show with my group because that tells us that the girls in the picture are from a singing group called the Wildflowers. So let's put that too. Okay, so I have my two story details in there. And then my answer is, let's see, we can say Annie's grandma is in the picture. with her singing group, but the wildflowers.
All right, we're kind of big there. Okay, once you have that down, then, and again, if you need to pause the video, go ahead and do that. But once you are all done writing that first one down, I want you to go through the story and find why does Annie's grandmother share the picture. So just like we did here, find your story details, which is the actual text, and then the answer to that question. So pause the video and find those. Once you are all done with that, then you are going to turn to page 84 in your book and you're going to be writing a short response that says describe the secret that grandma had been keeping why didn't annie know about it so it says hint why does grandma say when annie what does grandma say when annie asks why her grandmother hadn't shared her secret before okay so go through in the text and find that answer and write your answer. Don't forget to try to put the question in your response. Okay, so I would say something like, the secret that grandma had been keeping is, and Annie didn't know about it because, okay, so put your question in your answer. So go ahead and pause the video, do that, make sure you finished this, this chart here. Once you're all done with grandma's secret, then you are going to turn to page, let me see. Page uh, 446, we're going to be doing lesson 25 in your language handbook that is called Spoken and Written English. Okay, so the introduction says, when you speak with friends, you don't have to worry about every word and how it sounds. But when you write, you want your words to be exact and clear. When you speak, you often use single words and phrases. When you write, you should use complete sentences. So spoken English says, want to see the stars tonight? Nah, too many clouds, maybe tomorrow. If you were writing that, you would say clear nights are the best time to see stars. Okay, this says, when you speak, you often use slang such as hey or can't. When you write, you usually do not use slang or contractions. So can't is a contraction. So Dan says, that's a shooting star. Ava says, hey, there's another one. Whoa, there are so many, I can't count them all. So that is if you were talking like with a friend, but if you're writing it, you would say something like, during the meteor shower, more than 150 shooting stars came streaking across the sky, okay? So that is how you would write it. All right, so let's look at the bottom of this page. It says, read each sentence with the partner. Well, we don't have partners. Which ones sound like spoken language, right? Spoken or written next to each sentence. Tell your partner which clues helped you decide. Okay, so the hint right here says to find spoken language, look for slang such as yep and awesome. Also look for sentences that are not complete. So number one says, this is okay homework. Well, would we really write that? That's not really a third grade sentence. We've talked about this before. So I would say that this is spoken. So we're going to write spoken. Okay, number two says, yep, really good. Well, that's not really a complete sentence and it has a yep in there. Okay, so that is also going to be spoken. Okay, number three says, learning about meteors, meteoroids is interesting. Okay, that is definitely written. Okay, number four says, the next meteor shower will be in August. That's a good complete sentence, so that's definitely written.
Okay, number five says, awesome, can't wait. Okay, well, that's not a complete, really a complete sentence, and it has that awesome word right here. So that is spoken. Okay, and number six says, the number of shooting stars people see depends on where they stand. That is a very good sentence, so that is definitely written. Okay. Once you are all done with that, we're going to turn to page 447. Okay, and I did some of the, these first two for you, just to, for an example. But the directions say, Dan and Ava are watching the sky again. Read what they say in numbers one through four, then rewrite the information as if it were a report about stars. Okay, so number one says, Stars are really cool, and constellations are even cooler, right? They look like pictures of things. Okay, so if we were going to write it like a report about stars, I would put, stars are interesting to study. Groups of stars are called constellations. Groups of stars called constellations are like pictures. Okay, so I'm taking what they said and making it into a nice, uh, complete sentence. Okay, so you can go ahead and write down what I have for that one. Pause the video and do that. If you are all ready, then let's look at number two. Number two says, wow, that's the Big Dipper. Looks like a ladle. See its handle? Yeah, I see it. I can count all seven stars. Okay, so I'm making it like a report about stars, so I wrote, the Big Dipper is a constellation that looks like a ladle. It is made up of seven stars. Okay, so that is how you can write it like a third grader. So go ahead, you can write down what I have for numbers one and two. Okay, and then for three and four, you're going to do on your own. Okay, so you're taking what Ava and Dan say and writing it in a nice third grade sentence. Okay. That is all we have for reading today. If you have any questions, please let me know. Have a great day.